Welcome to the AACS Daily News. A new artist is presenting in the Atterboro Arts Museum's Community Gallery. We spoke with the artist to learn more. Hello, my name is Monique Roll Johnson. I am penned basically as the artistic diva, and um, I am affiliated with the Albert Museum through being a member and also just being an art practitioner and an artist. I must give a shout out. I am a Bahamian, so I'm from the um, beautiful archipelago of the Bahamas. And so my work is really influenced by um, our creativity, the islands, the, the waters, the Afrocentricness of our people, um, and a special festival that is called Junk Canoe, where we have elaborate costumes and we dance and the colors, and of course the glitter and the shine. All of that is a part of the work. So I like the sense of being able to feel color, touch color, almost the sense that you can smell the vibrancy of it all. So I like to cater to the five senses more or less. So I have my work is very textural in a lot of different ways. I use my work as a platform uh, for social justice, being equitable in the delineation and of course showing the genius of women. So my work deals a lot with that and most of my subject matters deal with that. I can tell a story being a female artist about how we see things, how, how we are portrayed, how we are viewed, and also want to tro show the regalness of who we are as women. And I no disrespect to my male counterparts, I think you are amazing within yourselves. And I think and I know that we could coexist together um, for a better world. And so a lot of my work deals with, again, our struggles, not only as females, but also marginalized people. A lot of my subject matters deal with that. I'm a woman of faith, so some of that comes out in my work. I give you who I am in my interpretation of how I see the world. I focus mainly with paint, but I'm a mixed media artist. My primary base medium is acrylic paint. My journey has been, how do I make acrylic paint because of its versatility? And that's why I really love it. I can make it look like oils. I can make it look like watercolors. I can make it look and do whatever I want you with it. I also use oil pastels and all of those are integrated into the pieces. I also use tapestry. I use all kinds of different media in the piece, especially if I want a textural feel or I want to convey a certain kind of message. I would like to say to anyone who is out there, because I'm also an art educator, um, do not let anyone dim your light. You're here for purpose and each one of us have gifts that we can give. Mine happens to be in my artwork and my artistry. And so if you have that gift, if you have a gift, all of us have, we have something. Probably we, it's come so easily to us that we don't even recognize it, all right? You will have to do some work and put effort into um, expanding yourself and developing yourself. But nevertheless, you have a gift. Share it with the world. Do not negate your platform and do not negate who you are. And if you have an opportunity to come down to the Albar Museum of Art, please do. It is such a wonderful place where you will see persons like myself, artists like myself, but also artists that are up and coming. So give encouragement to everyone you see.